Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do some acrylic swipe pouring. I have to say that painting has been one of my favorite things because, I mean, to be perfectly honest, I have really bad anxiety. And um, since I'm on medication strike and I don't want to take my prescribed Xanax because, I mean, who wants to take medication every day? Um, I paint when I get really bad anxiety, which is literally every day. So let's just say the amount of paintings that I have, well, they're taking up my shed. And I'm really trying to like make this a business thing. <laughs> but like, to be perfectly honest, I can't get one thought at a time because I'm not taking said medication. So it's been interesting. But in this journey, I've learned that um, as satisfying as painting is for other people to watch, it's way more satisfying for me to make. And this is um, definitely one of my favorite pieces. It's actually hanging in my dining room right now. Um, I'll post a short of it as soon as this video is done uploading. I use some very beachy colors. Um, I wanted there to be you know, the orange and that, um, what do they call it? Salmon type pinkish red, um, just to kind of have some color pop. I didn't want it to be really bland. Um, but I can say that doing the swipe technique, you always get really cool designs. Everyone says that in these paintings, you can see faces. I'd have to agree. Now, to do this technique, I mean, I'm just pouring puddles. I put extra white on the back and around the sides so that I make sure I cover all of it. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe and I need some paint to pick up when I do that. I put some extra little dollops of white paint so that it gets more of a effect in certain areas and then we just do what we do I like it to puddle at the end of my swipe because then that creates its own little pocket of cells I try to stay patient enough to like keep wiping off my um, my knife, but it's just, patience isn't, <laughs> patience isn't my thing. So painting has been really interesting because you have to wait for the painting to dry before you can epoxy it. Epoxying it takes, um, at least 24 hours to cure. So it's, this is like a week long process and the amount of patience you have to have when you just want to see the end result is crazy. So I go over it with um, my torch lighter just to kind of let any cells that I don't see kind of pop out. And then on this one, I only tipped enough on one side just to pour over that white paint. But when I tip it down and let some of the other paint drain off, this is where you're going to see all of those layers in the swipe effect take hold. And over time, like over minutes, hours, the painting will change a little bit. But before I forget, check out my Etsy shop at the Dope Art Collective. Enjoy!